Hi everyone, Arlen here. Well, I am out and doing a little bit of shopping today. And I'm going to be heading in here to Michael's. And I might take y'all in and show you our home goods as well real quick. But I'm still looking for some St. Patty's Day stuff. So I am going to head in here to Michael's and I'll show you around there a little bit and see what they have to offer and see if anything's on sale. And then I'll take you into our home goods too. So I'm not sure if y'all have home goods around where y'all live, but that is one of my favorite stores to venture into. So I'm going to get parked and I'm going to be heading on into Michael's here in just a second. Be right back. Well, I tried to post this video to YouTube last night with me commentating as I went around the store here, but it got removed because of copyright stuff, and I've been working with it ever since, trying to reduce the sound in the background, get rid of the music, and I just don't have the capability to do such a thing on my computer. So, I will try to narrate as I go here. As we walked into Michael's, you can see that they still have a plethora of Valentine's Day stuff on sale. They also have a bunch of candy melts and whatnot. My fan just came on on my computer, too. I am just batting a thousand here. They do have some stuff out now that I didn't see last week, so that might be a hint to go back and check again and again for things, because when I went shopping, and when they first put stuff on sale, they didn't have all of the stuff that they had now. Michaels has two flower departments. They have that one there, and then they have another one to the left. Here's all their Easter stuff. They just revamped the store a little bit, so I'm still kind of trying to figure out how to get around. I'm going to pause here for a second and let my fans on my computer stop running. All right, I tweaked my fans. Hopefully they won't come on for a little while here. Anyway, as I traveled on through Michael's, I just tried to point down the aisles to show you what they have. And here I'm coming up on their St. Patrick's Day merchandise. And guess what? They didn't have it for sale yet, so I didn't buy anything, <laughs> and I didn't like anything right there. A little too blingy for me, and as I worked my way around here, there really wasn't much that caught my eye. I did like that Lucky Me sign. I thought that would be pretty, kind of a beadboard kind of look. But mm, that was about it. So I very shortly here move on along. There's the other flower department. And they did have their flowers on 40% off this week. So, but I really don't need any flowers. One of the next things I'm going to do with you guys is uh, organize the stuff in my garage and do a little video of how I purge and organize that stuff. As you can see these wreaths, I was pretty appalled <laughs> to see the price of these wreaths. And I think I made a comment, you know, let me teach you how to do a wreath and then you can save a lot of money because the prices on these wreaths were just astronomical in my opinion. And then I moved on over here to the flower arrangements. $49.99 for that, really? <laughs> and I, I was just like, you got to be kidding me. $49.99 for that? No way. So I was just wondering what that was. <laughs> I guess a rock garden. But anyway, I kept moving. I did like this little Easter wreath. 
but again, 60 bucks was a little much for that. I think I said something about, well, I'm going to move on now and try not to say anything more derogatory, although you guys heard me mumbling and grumbling. <laughs> All the time the music is blaring in this place, and I didn't even realize it, and it's obviously copyrighted. These big wreath frames are getting harder and harder to find. Those are the, That's the size. That's 24-inch wreath frame. That's the size I used for my front door. And then I was like, oh, look, somebody got smart and put burlap colored chenille ties on a wreath form, which I'm very grateful to see. I didn't need any of that stuff. I bought a bunch of wreath forms from Hobby Lobby after Christmas for a deep and they were on a deep sale, and I was able to really make out like a bandit with those. Here's their yarn. I think I said was saying something here that I wasn't as enamored. I am not as enamored with Michaels as I am with Hobby Lobby. They just don't have the selection that Hobby Lobby does, and they don't offer the sales that Hobby Lobby does. I will come in here and buy something every now and again, only on sale. And I think I was saying, for instance, at uh, Hobby Lobby, you know every other week that their ribbon is going to be on sale for 50% off. And here it's hit and miss. They do have a very nice scrapbooking section there to the right. I don't know whether I take the camera that way or not, but yeah. and here's the other side of the, there we go with the scrapbooking. They do have a very nice scrapbooking section. It goes on for quite a few aisles here. I head over here to the Easter stuff, which they do have some pretty Easter things. That was a really pretty little cup there. And then I really put my eye on these pink candle holders. I just thought they were so pretty. I really don't have any pink in my house. They might go up in the purple room, but I just thought they were pretty. Mercury glass, pink mercury glass. They were not on sale. Easter stuff is not on sale yet. I believe that bunny, those bunnies were $30 each, which I thought was a little steep. <laughs> they were very lightweight. Don't have a clue what they're made out of, but I wasn't going to buy those for $30, although I thought they were cute. Then I see this egg garland, and I believe I have one of these, but I think that was $20 for that. And I wouldn't buy that for $20. I would wait till it goes on sale. But I do have one. And I think I used it for used it, excuse me, for around a lantern decor. But I haven't gotten my Easter stuff out yet. I did find this ribbon on sale. Kind of their spring boutique ribbon and packaging. I wouldn't use it necessarily to package anything up. I would use that ribbon to make bows out of and so on. But they do have a pretty good selection of that. Give credit where credit is due, right? But I pretty much walked through Michael's and didn't buy a thing. Because nothing was on sale that I was interested in. And I create too many things and do too much crafting and too much swip switching in and out of things to buy stuff at full price. I just am not willing to spend that money. All right, I was finished with Michael's, and I headed on out and took a left there and started down 
toward home goods. And the same thing happened in there. They had music playing and it was copyrighted. So in we go into home goods. But I have to tell you, as I was walking in, a really sweet lady stopped me and she recognized me from my YouTube videos. So thank you so much for stopping me. You were so sweet and it was so nice to see you if you were watching. And I appreciate all of your sweet words and I hope to see you again soon. Anyway, as we go through home goods, I just love these dishes. There I go with love again. I'm loving everything. But I thought these would be so pretty in our dining room. I have so many dishes, though, you guys. I don't need one more dish, honestly. <laughs> but I do like to look at them. And they have tons of them in there. Some of the prices in home goods are pretty good. Some of them are a little steep. Here I come around to the tablecloths and table runners. And they have nice prices on these. And I get a lot of my tablecloths and table runners from here. This is kind of my go-to store for that type of thing. I thought that was really pretty. I did not buy it, though. I walked on by. They have a lot of natural foods and some imported snacks and other things there. These big vases here to the left, I'm coming up on them in just, or to the right, excuse me, coming up on them in just a second, really caught my eye. I thought the colors were just so pretty. And I thought that that one right there, I'm gonna touch it here in a second, would look really pretty in my living room. I couldn't see the price on it, and because I was holding my phone <laughs> videoing, I couldn't maneuver to see how much it was. But I very well might go back and get that if they still have one there, and put some dried flowers in it. And I'll show you the dried flowers later on here in this video. But I thought that would be really pretty sitting on the floor in my living room. Might be a little modern, but I think if I add the dry flowers to it, I will country it up a little bit. I think it will look really pretty. I was quite frust frustrated there that it was <laughs> so heavy that I couldn't pick it up. I thought these were really, really pretty. $3.99. For one glass. Which for that, I, I didn't think was too bad. So on we go. I'm just trying to give you a overall feel of this store. I do have one of these plates that sits up on my grandmother's hutch in the dining room. More of that food. They have really nice things, but you have to be careful the merchandise goes really fast, and I don't think they have a lot of each thing. So if you see something, you kind of need to pick it up. I thought that bowl was cute. It is plastic, though. And I thought I don't use that kind of bowl in that color in plastic. I really like this tray. Look at the wrought iron handles. I thought that would be really pretty for a lantern decor. I looked at the price. 20 bucks for that. And I said, nope, not going to buy that for $20. Thank you very much. Too steep. I'm very careful with my money per month. I budget myself and give myself so much money for my crafting and decor a month unless we need to go buy something really big. But I'm very careful with what I buy. 
and to use that tray as just one part of a centerpiece, that's way too expensive. This is a clearance aisle they have. I think I mentioned that my mom had a dish much like that. And I was tempted, but not for $30. <laughs> I'm such a cheapo, but you know. When I do buy things, I buy the good quality things, but they need to be on sale for me to buy them. Working my way on around, that whole aisle was on sale too. I didn't even go down that aisle. Start working my way back and you can see that there's a bath area back here. And I start telling you around this area that I, I started to tell you when I was narrating as I was going through the store here that I am also a travel blogger. You can find my travel blogs in my blog at countrycraft.me. And we are fixing to go on an Alaska cruise this year. And I had gone to my local dress barn and with a 60% and went to their 60% off rack. And I had another 20% off coupon. And I made out like a bandit. I bought five tops. I found some long sleeved, like t shirt type tops in different colors. And I used up what I had left of this type of hanger, so I needed to buy more. They were $9.99, and I also explain here that I take these with me in my suitcase on our cruises because they're lightweight, and yes, I can ask the cabin steward for more hangers, but if my shirts don't stay on the hangers that they provide, they're wooden and nice hangers, but my shirts fall off of them. So if they don't stay on one, they're not going to stay on another. Here are their shower curtains. Very pretty. Big selection. All kinds of baskets and kind of organizing options. I thought this pillow would be really pretty in the turquoise bedroom upstairs, but cheapo me, $25 was too much, <laughs> so I put it back. I'm terrible. I think these rugs are really pretty, and I do mention that I'm really glad to see that they are now offering these memory foam rugs and sets now they didn't used to and they are quite nice and work like a charm and I'm you know of course I'm going through here and I just rambled on along and I'm very frustrated about the copyright stuff I mean I understand it but I'm frustrated that I cannot take music out I'm gonna have to do some research and see if I can get another a better editing program although I have a good one on here that came with my Apple laptop, but couldn't remove the music. Anyway, here are all kinds of rugs. This, oh, this is another clearance aisle here. And this stuff was on a little deeper clearance. I also talk about dog beds there. And I wish that I could find a dog bed that was pretty, that the noofs could fit on. Little Gracie could fit on one, but the noofs, they could fit the fronts of their bodies on them and that would be about it although they really don't know anything exists behind their head you know they don't realize how big they are so probably one of those would be fine <laughs> anyway I do look at this clearance aisle but I didn't see anything I wanted on around we go and there are tons of pillows and we're in the bedding department sheets and comforters and they do have a, a huge selection curtain rods there's a whole section for kids they have toys and they have furniture over there little tables more curtain rods 
row rugs, framed, framed art and picture frames, a lot of this stuff too. They have really pretty frames and I do decorate with frames a lot with family pictures. I said no, I would not choose that for our home. <laughs> but I did really like this collage frame. It was very smooth and it looked aged and I thought it was pretty and I it, it was was it $20 I think. And I said I would probably pay $20 for that. It was nice and heavy. It was very nice. Although I did not buy it yesterday. But I may go back and get that too. I may go back and get that vase and that picture frame. No idea where I'd put the picture frame, but. More framed art, mirrors galore. Many, many, many mirrors. I thought that would look really pretty in the purple bedroom upstairs, but I don't have a wall left over up there to put it, so I walk on from that, wishing I had found that when I was decorating that room. <laughs> if y'all have ever been in a world market, home goods is very, very similar. They have a lot of the same thing, a lot of the same chairs and rugs and other accent pieces. come around here there's the whoops I edited that out there was the dry flowers there to the left it was where I was gonna see if I could find flowers to go in that wreath then I, I you know I got distracted by these cute little dresses look how cute for little girls what little girl would not love one of those dresses maybe one of these days I'll have little grandchildren granddaughters that I can <laughs> Spoil with one of those. And I feel like I'm going way long here, so I kind of speed things up here a little bit and show you the many throw pillows. Many, many, many throw pillows. There's the lamp department right there. Painted tables, painted wooden tables. I wasn't going to pay $60 for one of those. <laughs> and I'm pretty much finished here. I go back by the pillows and then I eye something and I kind of rush over to it here in a second. Check out this little chair here. It looks like it's an office chair. And I remember saying, if I was a business lady and I had an office, wouldn't that be just something to create a room around? A room decor around using soft pinks and grays. And I just thought that was the prettiest little tuft chair. And it would be comfortable, too. Sigh, I don't have an office, so I walked on and went and took another peek at those dishes again <laughs> and headed over to get in line. I thought this little couch was just really pretty. I love tuft furniture. $700 for that couch. This is where you get in line here, and you have to go buy all this other merchandise while you're waiting to leave. I managed not to pick up anything. <laughs> and off to the register I went to purchase my $9.99 hangers. 
Alrighty, until next time, y'all take good care. Bye-bye.